Hello YouTube, this is Shirley426 and today we have the review of something different than what I usually review. This right now you see this cube thing is basically what you call the Beast Box line from 52 Toys. Now I bought this, I am not sponsored, no one gave this to me for free, I actually ordered this on my own. So if you saw the intro, it basically means that I now have a new camera. Number one, that's the first thing I would like to mention. Number two, now this new DSLR I bought also comes with a video, uh, also has a video function as well, So, which is why I'm trying out this camera as well. And if you do like this quality, just let me know. Alright, so currently this is the Beast Box Lines. You might have seen this on advertisement or some people have it or seen other reviews uh, reviewers review this product as well. And I mentioned on my Facebook that I wanted to do to make more content other than my usual Gunpla stuff, so here we are. So I will mention that tomorrow will be a Gunpla review. I would like to mention that. Alright, so let's see what we got. So currently here we have its cube form. In its cube form, each line is a perfect and in its cube form you can put it in this this nice cube case, which I which I believe call it is called the box charger right over here. So before we go over on the details, let's go over the components. So first of all, what you get, of course, is obviously the box. Here we have the box. It's a pretty simple looking box. It's a really basic box, pretty small. And then here we have its name called the Leviathan, or, or whatever you'd like to uh, pronounce it. And then here we have the back back of the box, which has the barcode and every explanation in Chinese and some uh, nice artwork. Uh, other than that, you get also get a instruction manual for the transformation. So currently we have both sides. So this one is basically from beast mode, which is the whale mode, from the cube to cube mode. And on the back side, which is I actually do like, is the is that we actually have another uh, the opposite, where the cube to the beast mode. Uh, because I have bought a good amount of toys in the past, especially like some transformers. Or recently, I also bought some third party stuff, and they do give you a manual like this, but. What I don't like is that they only give you the manual for just one way. So let's say from its uh, Cybertronium mode to its alternative mode, and that's it. So if you want to do the other way, one, the other way around, you pretty much have to do it the opposite way. And sometimes that could be a problem. Other than that, we also get a nice catalog. So I just want to give you a nice, a uh, good idea what these are. So here we have the catalog. You might have seen these elephants or these dinosaurs or these gorillas. You might have seen at least one of these three on the, because those are the most common ones. Now we have some more dinosaurs, some hippos, rhinoceros, birds. And then we got more gorillas and birds. And then now we also have the Mega Box line, which, as far as I understood, it, is that they are, are now making licensed products from other series, like the, the Alien one. This one's actually a pretty tough one to transform, as far as I know. We got some Iron Man from Marvel and even Sano. So, yeah, and there are actually more products than this. The This, uh, this catalog seems to be a little bit outdated. So, yeah, there are more new products coming out. Uh, recently, so do ch do check their website or their Facebook page out. And other than that, we get a nice card here. We get a nice card that shows the simple artwork, and then we got some card that has shows some stats here: uh, low intelligence, top uh, okay speed, and high strength and high defense. And then some explanations. But the way how this is written, it seems like it's just explaining about a whale, not the actual vehicle thing itself. And then we actually get a manual for this small cube case, which, uh, believe it or not, you are actually able, if you have multiple of these, come on, why is the, okay, we have multiple of these, you can actually attach them together from side to side or top to bottom. Uh, they also give you this card, which is, I believe they call it the, the PVC card. So basically you fold it in half and then you put this thing inside the, uh, inside the back of the case, which, uh, which I can only assume is that so you can actually just take it out once you open it. So because if you have, if you open this uh, right away, that's pretty much it. If you want to take the the toy out, you need to do something like that or reach in, which is not an easy task. So, and if you have like stacks of these, obviously it's going to get really messy. So I get, it. I can understand why they gave you this. So you can, so the figure can bounce out right away once you open the case. But for now, let's go over the review. Sorry for these uh, long intro because. Every time I review something for the first time, I do have to go, go over the basics to give you guys a uh, nice understanding of the product. So here we have the cube form. Uh, the cube form is basically, or the box form, this is a perfect cube in the length of each length being 5 centimeters. That's like the basic uh, premise of, of all these toys as far as I understood them. And then the transformation is very simple. 
So I'm going to go over the transformation right away. This is one of the simple ones, but there are the very difficult ones out there as well. And then you open up the fins. They are connected to these pegs. So what I really like about this is that everything locks into place. And then you unpeg. There's another peg system here. The tail, and then you unpeg the body one, and then you open this section up. Now before you open this up, you want to lift this black section slightly up together and they will go up here together and then there's another locking mechanism here and locks it into place and then you move the fins backwards like that to make it look like more of a fish or a whale and then you spin the tail and that's pretty much it for the transformation now this is a very simple one I think it's a pretty good one to start with and then you can open the cockpit section and reveal some more small figures now these two that looks like a sh another shark and a manta ray uh, are actually supposed to be attached to somewhere else and then here we have a gorilla figure this is actually one of those gorilla figures that were on the um, on the catalog but a smaller scale so uh, so this is basically showing us that this is more of a vehicle type thing not an actual like character or a single robot thing and yeah so I think it would be really interesting to make a one-to-one -one skill a bigger version of this, uh, the, the Leviathan, so you can actually put the Gorilla Robot inside the cockpit. That would be m really cool. So here we have the Manta Ray. You can open this section up, and then on the bottom we have these pegs that you can plug in. We have these plugs that you can plug in, and there you go. That's pretty much it for the transformation. Now there are other more holes here, like uh, these ones on the side as well, and then... Well, this, in this case, yeah, and then we got these plugs, which are or are technically the plugs that uh, that goes in here. But still, we have these multiple holes, so there's definitely some room for some modifications here. And I'm just going to take this one out as well. And if you're curious how the pilot is standing still, is that this is actually connected to a peg. So on the bottom, there's a hole, and then there's a peg here. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the whale slash Leviathan mode. So once I saw this, the color scheme, I really like the small details. Like the blue is very nice. And then we have these air tanks on the back that actually has the word air on it. And then like some PSI, which I'm not sure if that's actually a correct number thing. But still, it's really cool to see. Although being this is definitely looking like a whale, but on the side, it definitely looks, this one looks like a shark. But still, very nice. And then on, on the side note, the color scheme definitely reminded me of this Gundam the waterproof Gundam slash gun diver so yeah and these two actually look pretty good together if you saw my pictures in the intro you might you might understand what I mean by that and that's pretty much it for the review so this was a very good simple toy to start with and I definitely have two more uh, in order and they once I they arrive I will be reviewing them right away because those the other two are the more interesting ones if I have to say so myself but this one is also pretty good looking I really like the design uh, and I'm really hoping to see more figures like this in the future Anyway, thank you for watching the review. Hope you actually like this video quality. If you do, let me know. And sound quality as well. Anyway, thank you for watching the, rev the review. This was the review of the Beast Box Leviathan. If you guys got any questions or requests, leave them comment below. I still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out. And tomorrow will be a Gundam Gunpla review. So no need to worry. Until then, see you guys next time.